Hey everyone, Doug here. Uh, I'm at the Black Magic booth at NAB in Las Vegas, uh, NAB 2018, and I just wanted to show you guys one of the new products that they announced here. This is the new Television Studio uh, 4K, Television Studio Pro 4K. So this switcher, this is a switcher, eight input switcher, uh, SEI inputs on, on the back, uh, instead of the HDMI that the high def version of it has. Um, another interesting thing about this product is it has actually has built-in scalers on every channel. So um, if you have a camera that's running uh, 1080p and you want to switch 4K, you can certainly do that, or vice versa. Or even if you had, uh, you know, a, 4, a 4K camera and you're switching HD, you know, you've got that option. So, um, and nice high-quality buttons on here. Another very interesting thing that they've done here is they've, uh, on the multi-view output, multi-view output itself can, can be 4K. So, you know, if you're shooting 10, 1080 HD these individual preview and program displays here actually show you pixel for pixel, for pixel which, which you're actually switching. So uh, this seems like a pretty good product. Uh, the price on this is $2,995, which is extremely aggressive for a 4K 8 uh, input switcher uh, with panel, with the control panel. So um, this looks like, looks like a pretty cool product from, from Blackmagic. All right, hey everyone, I'm here with the converters area of the Blackmagic uh, booth. So they've introduced a few new devices here. Actually pretty cool, uh, sort of things that I wish had come out a little while ago because uh, I've invested in other solutions that are more expensive. Uh, first one we'll talk about here is in this new UpDown Cross HD. So this is a video standards converter. It takes basically any video uh, format all the way up to 1080p60 and converts it to any other video format all the way up to 1080p60. Uh, so if you look at the, look at the back, it actually has dip switches to allow you to select which video format you, you want to use. Um, and it do, not only does scaling, uh, but it also does frame rate conversion as well. So if you had a 24p signal uh, coming in, you could output a 60p signal on the output. Uh, you can also out select whether you want to output a 3G level B or level A. Um, and pretty cool product. Another interesting thing, thing they've done with this compared to the older version is now has HDMI inputs and HDMI and H, both HDMI inputs and outputs in, in addition to the SDI. Um, so, so you can, you can now do HDMI to SDI conversion or vice versa. Uh, pretty cool product there. So, uh, pricing on that's $155. So much much cheaper than the previous version of that. Uh, it's pretty cool. All right, so the next one we'll, we'll go back at here is the new microconverter. This is a new bi-directional converter. This converts both uh, SDI, HDMI, and the reverse HDMI to SDI. It also has a feature that will convert, um, well, take, take, convert between level 3A to level 3B, or 3G level A to level to B. Um, and it, uh, like the similar product from Decimator Designs, uh, whichever input you have connected, it outputs that same signal to both of the outputs. So if you have an SDI signal coming in, that signal will also be output to SDI output as long as there is nothing connected to the HDMI in. So whichever input you have connected, that same signal goes to, to, uh, to both of the outputs on there. All right, so the next uh, product I wanted to go over here is the Optical Fiber 12G. This is another brand new product they just announced. Uh, this converts bidirectionally between optical fiber and SDI. Uh, this, this is kind of a replacement for their for their product, which is just behind an optical fiber 4K. Uh, the one big difference between them, besides pricing, is this one does not include the SFP module, so you have to provide your own SFP module, uh, so you can get one that says 3G, 6G, or 12G SDI. Uh, you, you take your pick. So. Uh, and this converter is 155. Um, so, um, back I forgot I failed to mention pricing on the micro converter. That that device is now $69. Uh, all those products should be available now. And uh, yeah, it looks like some pretty cool stuff from Blackmagic. All right, the last product I wanted to cover here at the Blackmagic booth is this new MultiView 4 HD product that they've come out with. Now this is. A uh, much smaller version of the MultiView 4. This, so this, the MultiView 4 over here is their older one. Uh, the one, the MultiView 4 does Ultra HD, whereas this one only does high definition. Uh, this, so it takes, what this does, it takes four different video inputs and turns it into a two by two grid on the output. So you can uh, monitor four different video sources on a single monitor. Um, so I was told by one of these, one of the guys here at Blackmagic that this has some new features that are not available in the previous one, like being able to assign different camera numbers to the inputs for the tally feature uh, and things like that. So 
Um, the other thing, the one thing that's notable that's missing on this compared to the Multi-V4 is it does not have loop through outputs, so it's just so any signal coming in ha is basically terminated at this device and doesn't doesn't continue to pass through to any f further additional loop through outputs as well. I had one other thing that I wanted to want to show you guys before I left the line. Uh, they made an announcement yesterday in the keynote to talk about firmware update to the uh, HyperX Studio Mini products. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys that's what it looks like. And in, in the menu, there is now an option for uh, H.264 recording. So you have options for uh, high quality, medium quality, and low quality for H.264. So that will allow you to Create, basically create a consumer-friendly, deliverable fi file format from the Linux Mini directly rather than being um, stuck with ProRes and DNA. So, yeah, so yeah, very cool update there. One that I'm personally very excited about.